To start creating an announcer, first locate your Open Fortress folder. This folder is usually under C, Program Files, Steam, Steam Apps, Source Mods. Next, you must create a new folder inside the custom folder. This folder can be named anything. Inside this folder, create a scripts folder. And inside that, an announces folder. In here, create a txt file. The name doesn't matter though preferably named after your announcer. Now, open the file and type the following things. You will find a template in the description. First, we put announcer in quotation marks. Then, we open a bracket. Now, we will start defining settings for our announcer. The first one is their name. This name is what will be used to search for the backpack icon, for the sound script prefix, as well as the miscellaneous calls that asks for a name. In this example, we'll call it funny. Next, we'll define the file the game will use to load the sound scripts for the announcer. This is usually called game underscore sounds underscore announcer underscore and then the name of the announcer. It is located within the scripts folder. Now, finally, we will define which game modes our announcer supports. This is a big list of officially defined game modes and it may change in the future. So keep an eye out for that. You'll find the list alongside the example announcer txt in the description. This is what a typical announcer override looks like. It supports CTF, CP, Arena, DM, DDM, Domination, Gun Game, Free Wave, Infection, Juggernaut, and dual. Though obviously, you don't need to support everything. For example, you can exclude capture port lines or not support infection. On the other hand, you can also support everything, even modes which you don't have, like MVM, pastime, and robot destruction. Lastly, we'll close the file with a closed bracket. At the end, it should look like this. Now, we need to create the previously mentioned game sounds file. Go back to the scripts folder and create it. So, now that you have your base file set up, you need to actually record your announcer lines. This will probably be the most time-consuming part of the process. You can find a full list of announcer lines in the Google Sheet in the description. These also reference the name of the sound script that should be used for them. Note that new lines are still being developed and some might not be implemented. Some might be added and some might be changed during the development of the game. When exporting lines, make sure they are using a 44,100 uh, bitrate. The lines should usually be put in sound, not sound sir. So sound slash vo slash announcer underscore name. 
A good frame of reference for file names and structure is the default announcer located in sound vo announcer underscore banjan. Once you're done recording and exporting lines, you have to add sound scripts for all the lines you made, so that the game knows which file to play when something happens. With the game sound file we created earlier opened, we can start creating our sound scripts. They are formatted like this. First, the announcer name, then a dot, and finally the sound script name. In our case, the announcer is funny, and for our first script, we use dominating. Channel. Volume. Pitch and sound level. These four things are always the same, so feel free to copy paste them. Now, to actually define the sound, first we need to create an RD wave container. In it, we define all the possible sounds we want it to play. We can copy paste the sound script. And just change the script file and name. It should look somewhat like this, just with more lines. If you want multiple sound files for the same script, you simply put another uh, entry inside RD Wave. Lastly, you need to make a backpack icon. These are automatically looked up based on your announcer name. It is located in Materials, Backpack, Announcers, And then announcer name dot vmt. So in our case, funny dot vmt. I won't go into how to make your own materials. Other guides can help you out with that. So we can create our own vmt. However, for simplicity's sake, we'll simply reuse an existing backpack icon from the official game. Vox is a funny one, so I'll use that. All we need to change within the VMT is which VTF it targets. This is just the name without the extension. And that's about it. Now we just need to put up the game and see the fruits of our labor. Keep in mind that custom announcers tend to appear before the official ones. This may be fixed in the future. Schmobster City.
Bazinga. I'm gonna paint this town red. <laughs>